Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're talking about easy bond investing. I'm going to teach you what a bond is, plus the easiest and best way to invest in bonds. So let's quickly get through some bond terminology. When you hear bond or fixed income, they mean the same thing. When you hear treasury bonds, think US government bonds. A bond is a type of loan. They mean the same thing. So to understand how bonds work, let's start off with a basic loan example. Boomer the consumer and Lester the investor are here to illustrate. Boomer the consumer wants to buy a home theater system, but is a little short on cash, so he asks Lester the investor to borrow $1,000. Lester the investor agrees on the condition that Boomer the consumer pays 12% interest payments each month for 12 months. The math looks like this. $1,000 times 12% is $120 divided by a year. $120 divided by 12 months is $10 a month. At the end of the 12 months, Boomer the consumer has to return Lester the investor's $1,000. So from Boomer's point of view, he is borrowing $1,000, then paying back $10 each month for 12 months to Lester in interest payments. At one year, Boomer repays Lester the full $1,000. So in total, this loan cost Boomer the consumer $1,120, but he's happy because he got his new home theater system. From Lester's point of view, he is lending $1,000 and then receiving $10 each month for 12 months from Boomer in interest payments. At one year, Lester gets back his principal in full, $1,000. So in total, this investment made Lester $120 and he's happy because he just made some money. Now replace Boomer the consumer with the US government and you have bonds. Lester the investor is now a bond investor, loaning his money to the federal government in order to fund whatever projects are needed. Now that you understand the concept, the easiest and best way to start investing in bonds is with a bond index fund. A bond index fund is one easy investment that captures the entire bonds market. So rather than buying individual bonds one at a time, you own them all at once. You'll want a US total bond index fund in order to capture the whole US market and be as diversified as possible. Whether you use Fidelity, Vanguard, or Charles Schwab, they all have their own US bond index fund. The advantages include, number one, it's very low cost. This means more wealth building power over time. Number two, automatic reinvestment. This means that your interest payments will be used to buy more shares of the bond index fund without you lifting a finger. This is a powerful feature to build serious wealth. Number three, diversification. This lowers the overall risk by owning the entire bonds market versus one or a few individual bonds. Number four, it's easy and effective. With index funds, you don't need to calculate how many shares you want or deal with order types. Instead, after you just click the buy button and select your account and the dollar amount you wish to invest. Boom, you're done. Number five, no date tracking. Unlike with individual bonds where you'd have to use a calendar to keep track of start and end dates, that's not an issue with the index fund. Since the index fund is the whole market, it runs continuously. In the long run, your investment will grow and make money on autopilot. I recommend you stick with the index fund when it comes to easy bond investing for beginners. Now smash that subscribe button and leave a comment if there's anything you want to know about money, mindset, or investing. Click the link in the show notes to get your free guide, Five Simple Investing Rules. I'm Mike Germanario. Never leave money on the table of life, and I'll see you next time.